And now moving forward, fast forward and past that, what kind of led you in the situation you in now, during the indictment, they actually tried to use this movie and stuff, well, they actually did use this movie to try to use it um, as a tool to convict you. So can you speak a little bit on that, like moving forward to that, like how, what led the situation to, to get you to the situation you in now, like get people that kind of run down? That, 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 you know, Man, I, I got to charge it to it. It's just foolish, man. One of the things that I did with the movie, right? I don't, I don't know if you ever can relate to this. I'm sure you can. When we see movies, we normally see movies when they had the drugs and they selling all these kilos and stuff. That's like New Jack City, the real one, for instance, when Wesley Snipes sold the drugs. And when you see him selling the drugs in a suitcase, it was a suitcase full of uh, cocaine that looked like sugar. You know what I'm saying? So what, that, was one of, that was one of the things that anno annoyed me every time I watch a movie that be like, Dad, I ain't know that. It don't look like that, man. So when I when I shot my job, I made it I made it my business to try to make it raw and gritty to make it real, look as real as possible. So when I did my movie, I was like, man, bricks look like bricks, man. They they, they shine. They look like fish girl. They look like this. So I went out and, and, and I brought, you know, uh, the fake fish girl to make it look like a pair as it was really cold. You know what I'm saying? And and everything we did in the movie, we tried to make it appear as if it was real, man. And, and the, you know, the, the people, man, rumors and gossip is just ridiculous sometimes. You know what I mean? You know, people got to talking like, you know, man, they put real coke on the movie. And, I, man, we ain't put no real coke in the movie, man. It was soap, man. Cutting up soap. You know what I'm saying? We cutting up the dolls of ivory. You feel what I'm saying? We, just like in the movies, you see girls bagging up. Uh, work and they in the movie you always see them butt naked with titties and out and all that. We ain't do that, man. Dudes, dudes don't, you know, you know, and the other people ain't doing that, man. So we try to bring it real. How uh, niggas be at the table, how uh, niggas do it this way. You know what I'm saying? We just brought the raw and realness to to the film, man, and it just got blown out of proportion, man. If you ask me, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know, they tried to use it as, as because it's me. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ace can't do it. Ace too real to do it. Yeah, I mean, what's... It's college from a federal prison. Wesley Snipes can do it and get away with it. Ace, he too real. He can't do this because, you know, I got a record and a reputation for being, you know, a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah I just got blown out of portion with that, man. But, you know, at the, at, 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 you know, at the end of the day, man, I'm the lad. The judge didn't let that in. My lawyer actually uh, put that in on himself on, on, on the defense. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But he put the wrong movie on. He's supposed to put the other movie on, you know what I mean? That's a whole other topic of uh, discussion. Word. So, yeah, give, give people the, um, the, the, the rundown, like... What what was it like, you know, when the, when the situation first came down and they first tried, like, give them that rundown on how you got into the situation you in now. I know you try a pill right now, but how did, give them the rundown on how this whole situation came down from your perspective. What you mean, how the, how the case started? Like, yeah, how did, like, like, them coming to charge you and lock you up and convict you and all of that, like. Well, apparently, I've, I've been on investigation for you know, seven years from '98. My 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 indictment is from '98 to 2005, first and foremost. So I'm actually serving. I want the people to understand that I'm serving a, a life sentence plus five years right now for when I was 24 years old to 31 years old. Yeah, you know I mean, and today I'm 43. I'm 43 today. I'm going on 44. But um. You know, basically, man, they, 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 you know, they, they investigated me, man, and, uh, in 2005, they raided me and locked me up, you know what I mean, on a gun charge at first, but I got superseded about four or five times, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I really don't want to go, this, you know, it's time, it's, it's, time is everything with as far as the case, man, and being so, even though I'm very, it's all, uh, resolve it and, and wrap this thing up, you know what I mean? It's, the fact of the matter is that I might be getting a new trial. You know what I mean? That's really the remedy, but the case so old, you know, I, I don't think they want to move forward to a new trial. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to them to resolve this deal like they did my, my, my last Cody that came through here. So please get into that, man. I think it's wrapped up with this case. And you know I mean, as far as them type of conversations. Right. Yeah, man. Right, right, right. 
I want you to speak on this too, because I don't know if you ever talked about this before, but you actually broke down in the courtroom when they gave you the convictions. Like, so what was going on in your mind that that made you cause you to get that reaction at the time? Well, what it was this, right? You know, and everything it seemed like everything for me was hard, right? So it took like it took a lot out of me, man. I was exhausted, man, and and. and when the prosecutor was talking, man, he, you know, he, he felt like I deserved a life sentence, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't feeling that, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't think no man deserves a life sentence, man, you know what I'm saying? Especially coming from our circumstances. I was a young kid. I was misguided. I was rebellious, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not making excuses for any of my conduct that I did. I'm just giving an explanation as to, you know, what happens when we when we indulge in, in certain things all our life, you know what I'm saying? When we're young and misguided, we don't even know a lot of things we do is wrong. We don't identify it as wrong. We we be identifying it right, so there's danger in that. You feel what I'm saying? And then when when I get to look at everything in totality, I just was exhausted, man, and burnt out, and, and just mad, upset with myself, disappointed, you know what I'm saying? Mad at the system. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and that's one of the reasons, like I, I was explaining before we, we got cut off last time, is when I first came in here, when I first came to SDC, one of the guys that I, I, I didn't know this guy, I met him here. He's a good friend of mine now. I'm delighted because I've been down with him now. He was at the jail, Big Sandy with me. But I got to SDC, you know, a brother by the name of Abdul Malik, he was in the shower. So when I get on the block, you know, everybody like, damn, they go to boy AC, he, he, he in. You know, they showed me love, you know what I mean? So he's in the shower, he's like, man, that's big old ace, hey, I, man, we just was, oh, man, so I'm like, I'm, I'm like, what's going on? So he got off the street. This call is from a federal prison. Once we treated me good, they gave me you know, a little care package, shower shoes, deodorant, soap, things you need when you first come in the door. And uh, he told me, you know, he said, man, he said, man, we just was watching, you know, the new Jack City John, and, uh, 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 Right before our situation, and they was locked up for a, 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 a camera, I can't recall if it was a bank robbery or some type of Hobbs, and whatever they was locked up for. But when he told me he was watching my movie, New Jack City, right before they did it, and they like hyped them up and put a battery in their back to go do what they did, I remember my, in my mind, like, that ain't what I shot the movie for. You know what I'm saying? And, and by the time when I fast forward and by the time I get sentenced, because at the end of the day, that brother got like 30 years, you know what I mean, for 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 for, for a, a mistake, you know what I mean, that he made, you know what I'm saying, at a young age, not understanding these federal laws, you know what I mean, and, and God's only understanding these federal laws, he carry a whole lot of time, man, it ain't like upstate, man, you go on, you, 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 you face 11 and a half, 23, or 2 to 4, you come over here, these numbers is football numbers over here, man. You start in double digits, mandatory. You feel what I'm saying? If you got a little record, you get in a mandatory life sentence. You know what I'm saying? And and that don't become a reality until you get on this side of the field. You know what I'm saying? So now in hindsight, you know, I looked at all of that, man, and that's why I consciously now I will never do another project that only promotes negative stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Any project I do now from this day forward is going to always have a positive message. It's always going to have a, 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 a lesson to be learned, whether it's a hard lesson. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lesson to be learned. It's going to have a powerful impact, not just promoting negativity. You know what I'm saying? Because when you do something with all negative, it's easy to be blown out of a portion, man. So it just, it just was a totality of things. You know what I'm saying? My kids was in the courtroom, and the reality hit me that I got a life sentence. Cause I'm going to get handled life plus 55 years, and my kids is in the courtroom. You know, mind you, at that time, they was, when I left, my kids was uh, 12. My, my older son was like 11 or 12. My, my daughter was 11, and I had a 9-year-old, a 7-year-old, a 3-year-old. They was all kids, man. And, and my kids is in this courtroom wanting their dad to come home, and I had to look at them and apologize to them, you know what I'm saying? And when I just looked at my family in the back support, you know what I mean? You know, it it, it, it it cut into me, you know what I'm saying? It cut into me. I had a soft moment where I just had to go. I just had to, I, I said, you know what, that's the love I ain't. No matter what I said to, to at that day, I was getting mandatory life plus 55. So I just chose to just, you know, that's all I got to say. And, and, that, and that was that. But yeah, I mean, it touched me, man. I, I was touched. I was hurt. I was hurt by it. Mm. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm actually glad it happened, though. I'm, 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 I'm glad in a sense where it changed, that was a life-changing experience for me. This, this whole situation was a life-changing experience for me, you know what I'm saying, and for those who, who got locked up with me, I'm sure I'm positive, you know what I'm saying, because 
at the end of the day, I just want, I don't regret it. And I'm saying, and, and, and I, 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 I accept everything that, I, that, that I've done, everything that's happened, you know what I'm saying? It was like an out-of-body experience where I needed to see that, you know what I'm saying? I needed to see, hear those wiretaps, you know what I mean? Hear how foolish and how ignorant we sound when we just get used to it. It's like we get numb, we talk slang, and we, we cuss so much. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how ignorant we sound, man. When I listen to them wiretaps, man, I literally wanted to put my head under the sand like an ostrich, man. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I was ashamed of myself. You feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and when I looked at all the lives that, that got hurt behind it, you know what I'm saying? And not that people were just uh, 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 bad people. We just unfortunate, and, and these are the circumstances, you know what I mean? People don't understand the circumstances and the repercussions that come from the image that you present, you know what I mean? And from that day forward, man, I just realized, man, you know, I know people's looking. I know a law is looking first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? And I know those that love me is looking at me and watching me, so I never want to lead them down the path of destruction that, 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 that I, or, or, or how obstacles like I had to endure. You know what I mean? So, at, you know what I mean? I, I just always try to now be in a positive light, man. I, I'll never do a project, man, that, that just promotes negativity, man. I just won't, I, I don't want to be involved with it. And, and no point, no, 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 no circumstance whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so you've been down for a nice little minute, like you said, 12 years, man. Speak on, like, your experience being in there and what's something you can share for the youth that that's that, that you can see some of yourself in that might be on the path to where you at. Like, what's some of your experience and what's something you can share with them? Man, my experience is, is just reality is, man, I'm in a place, man, I'm, I'm federal penitentiary, man, where it's actually normal. Life plus 55, I'm, I'm around dudes that got seven life sentences, dudes that got literally a thousand months, you know what I'm saying, a hundred years, two hundred years, these are normal sentences, man, and it's, 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 it's insane, it's incredible to see somebody get that much time, you know what I'm saying, for the crimes they commit, you feel me, and, you know, for the young guys out there that's just running around, man, I, they think they doing, you gotta, you gotta wake up, man, because the reality, you gonna regret it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to regret it. People say they live, they have no regrets. You're going, you're going to regret it. You're going to wish you'd done differently. And you just got to think before you do stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Like for instance, it was another young brother that was here, and I was mad because he was 19. You know what I mean? The brother was locked up for robbing, I think, like seven or eight Chinese stores, Ch little Chinese supermarkets and stuff. He robbed like seven of them. He got a 924C for each one. That's five plus 25 plus 25 plus 25, and it keeps going on. So this young kid went to court, 19, and he pled out to the crime. You know what I'm saying? He pled out to the crime. He did him. But I just was, I was, I was like, damn. He just got a hundred and something years for for a robbery that you only got fifteen hundred, five hundred dollars each one of these jones. It ain't worth it, man. When you can go and work and make that type of money, man, an honest movie, you know what I'm saying, an honest living, instead of ruining your life, man. So that's that's one of the things I want to do when I get home, actually, is I want to be a, a mentor and a motivational speaker to the troubled youth, man, because I want to stop the young brothers before they ruin their life, man. I care about not only my kids, I care about your kids and my neighbor's kids and, 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 and the community as a whole, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's one of my drives and goals that I want to do, man. I, I, I want to come home, man, inshallah, and I want to I wanna be a, a role model to the troubled youth, man, and, and, and prevent them from ruining their lives, man, because it's so easy to do. We don't have no, 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 no role models out there. We got them out there, but we, we, a lot of us are so tough and, and, and so misguided. We only want to hear from, from the thugs. This is this what we look up to, the thugs and, 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 and the real niggas, the, the, the hustlers. And this, this, this is what we want to do, you know what I'm saying? We, it's easy to get caught. It's very influential, man. And, and, and those same guys, it's, we got a responsibility, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the guys, we, they try to emulate. We done changed. We done got wise. We done grew up, you know what I'm saying? But, so it's a responsibility now for us to speak out to the youth, man, and, and straighten them out and give them some advice before they ruin their life and give them the real effect of it. Cause they lose to only seeing the alarming of it. They don't see the repercussions. But this call is from a federal prison. I'm actually blessed. A lot of guys in my position is 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 dead. You know what I'm saying? Or in jail and and past all the appeal parts. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm still on appeal 
and blessed enough with issues strong enough to, to get relief. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and my situation humbled me, man. So that's what I would say to the youth, man. You, gotta take, you ain't got to go through it to, to, to learn from a situation, man. You can learn if you just listen, man. And, and I think when people give it to them sincerely, they'll take it from you. So I'm going to use that gift that I have because since I've been in, I've been involved with running groups. I run a, I run a Stop the Violence group at Big Sandy. You know what I'm saying? And I run a, a, a victim impact group at Big Sandy as well. And I talk to the guys. So, and I do it for hands-on experience because what I want to do when I go home is, like I said, I want to go to schools like Glenn Mills, uh, Lima, uh, uh, Youth Study Center. And, and I want to talk to these youth, man, whole groups because they ain't taking it from certain guys. They need guys like me. And it ain't, it ain't me by myself. I got a, I got a, I got a rag of brothers around me, man, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to go get our foot and feet dirty. We're going to the hoods. We're going to the inner cities. We're going to, we we coming, to, I'm from Philly. We're going, we coming to Philly. We, we going to places like New York, Chicago, all these different places, all these different inner cities, man. We're going to reach out to the, you know, the trouble youth, man. I got guys from all around the globe because when you're the feds, you're around guys from every city, man. And, and this is what we do at, at, at the jail I'm at. And, and I want to take this same program home, though, where it's more effective and, and, and get it to the guys before they even come in. You ain't got to come in with a life sentence or 20 years or 10, 15 years to hear this information, to see this reality. It should be done before they get to that point. You understand what I'm saying? Right. No, most definitely. So I know you got the book out on that note. We can get into the book a little bit. Now, I mean, what it's about. Is it a, a life story? Like, give them the rundown on that. Well, well, it was inspired, of course, by, by my life, you know what I'm saying? And I wrote Go Hard. It's actually a trilogy. So part one is out now, Go Hard, the take down the Ace Capone. Then you got Go Hard, it's coming next. I'm still working on that. It's almost finished. And then part three, of course. But, um, I mean, it's, it's all on, man. I encourage people to go get it. Because like I said, I'm bringing the stories with not only a negative Reality, I'm bringing the positive. You know what I mean, you got to look at the overall story. The theater, theater, the youth from crime. Show them what it's really like. It's even if you're just a girlfriend. You know what I mean, where you, where you ain't even doing nothing wrong except being in love with somebody that's out, that's running, that's running the streets. You know what I mean? And you're going to go down too. You know what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate, but it's reality. This is what happens. So we got to make better decisions. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I wrote the book, man. I wanted to talk to my people. The language they speak, I speak the language they speak. You know what I'm saying? I come from where they come from. I understand. I get it. And I wanted to put a story out that 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 will be entertaining and have a positive message with it. So I encourage people, man, to go download the book, man. It's an e book. It's two dollars and ninety nine cents. It's on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Go and log on that joint and get it today. You know what I'm saying? If you know somebody in jail, get them the book. You know what I mean? And when you get on the airplane, read the read the book, man. Airplane, you, you anywhere you sitting down, you sit down and read the book, man, and learn. It's hard lessons, and it's a good story. You know what I'm saying? But I'm also working on a, another book called uh, Product of My Environment, and what that is, it's called Product of My Environment: A Nation for the Troubled Youth and a Guide for the Parents Who Have Them. That's my positive, influential book that I'm going to push. You know what I'm saying? That I'm still writing and working on. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, I'm putting my heart and soul into that one. It's, it's a passionate, you know what I'm saying, project that I'm, that I'm doing that I'm going to take with me when I go around to these different cities and, 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 and try to, uh, uh, explain why the trouble youth, why we go down the path we go down because I've been one of them myself as well. All right, Ace Man, plug, plug your info, man. Let people know where they can reach out to you, you know what I mean? They can, they can touch base with you and all that. Plug your info where you, where they can get at you at. They can get at me uh, uh, folks, we got a, uh, A.T. Capone on Facebook, and we got, um, like I said, Ace, take, go hard, take down Ace Capone, you can go on Amazon and get that, man. And right now, I'm just, I'm in FDC Philly, man, just waiting, waiting, inshallah, get some relief on this, on, on this, on this pill, inshallah, so I'm just trying to, yeah, I mean, take it easy, man, that's all. Word. Get to the next phase. Word. But like I said, uh, that, that, uh, the one, uh, one thing I wanted to reiterate on, though, is, is, is another thing I want to do, man. When I when I get out, man, inshallah, I want I want I want to help uh, I want to help people, man. And like my mom, I love my mom, man. And one of the things I want to do for women, right, is I want to I want to open up like a, a take one of my one of my one of my properties 
I got a property in mind that I want to do it with an uh, apartment building on 46th Street, and I want to—it's like five units. I want to—I want to—I want to make it like a haven for women, that women with children, single single mothers that's just out there, man, and give them a place to live for like a short period of time, six months to a year, where they don't have to pay no bills at all. You know what I'm saying? And have my wife going to help them get their credit together. We're going to help them look for a job. You know what I'm saying? It's your law. They, they Muslim. Muslim is going to help us find a husband and get people ahead. You know what I'm saying? So we give them a chance. Because as a man, man, uh, we're supposed to pay all the... This call is from a federal prison. We ain't both, we ain't the, good, the woman shouldn't have to split the bills or had a, had a, had a, had a headache and the worries and stress of having to pay the bills or seeing how the bills are going to get paid, man. And as a man, we're supposed to do that, man. And as a Muslim, that's something I've always done, man. And this part of doing this bed, that's one of the things that hurt me the most is watching how women out there struggling. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of them women winning. I'm be glad for the ones that winning. But for the ones that struggling, man, I, I, I want to try to help them, man. That's one of the things I, that I want to do, too, because I've been a victim of those circumstances of a woman that's struggling to make ends meet, and, and she made a decision, and and, 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 and I know she regrets it, and I love my mother, and, and I'm packing that relationship back up as we speak, you know what I'm saying? I forgive her now. I'm wise enough to understand now, and not be rebellious about it, but it's other people in those circumstances, so I want to try to help those those children and their mothers so they don't fall victim to the circumstances that I fell victim to, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm a product of my environment, man. And for those, we got a chance to, to, to change that. That's why I'm writing that book, man. Product of my environment, an a, a, a explanation for the troubled youth, and a guide for the parents who have. You know what I'm saying it's going to be a curriculum that's a part of the movement that I'm that I'm trying to uh, 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 foresee, inshallah. Yeah. So like I said, they can reach out to me, man. I, everything is ace for and go hard, man. It way ain't hard to find. Just go right online, man. And punch it up, man. And people support the movement. That one, that one project I got out right now is Go Hard. It's on Amazon. Go download the ebook right now. And, and like I said, if you know somebody in jail, man, order the book. They can print out the book and send it to them. And send it, send it to them, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's just what it is, man. Word. Yeah, I see you getting a lot, got a lot of love um, with the book. Like, I see people like Freeway supporting, um, Tom Trump. I seen Black and Nobel got it in there. They had Bernard Hopkins take a click with it. So, you got a lot of support with the book and all that, man. So, definitely for the people that's listening, then y'all can go check it out on Amazon and all that. I'm waiting for you. Shout out to your sister Angie. I'm waiting for her to send me my copy and all that. Shout out to her for hooking yeah. the situation up and all that. Hey, I want to shout out them too, man. Shout out to Tone Trump, man, that's my brother, man, that's, I, I, I love that boy, man, that's my brother in the slam, and, and shout out to Bugsy, I, 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 I heard you last couple weeks ago on the Come Up show, man, I heard it, I, I love it, I always knew he was, he, he liked that, man, he, he always had, he always was like that, he didn't get better than me, he, he just got, he just getting murdered more now, inshallah, alhamdulillah, so, shout out to Bugsy, man, shout out to Freeway and all of them, everybody, man, I, I mean, I miss everybody, man, I'm here, man. For the haters, man, I mean, stop hating, man. Yeah, stop hating me, man. I'm, I, I, I got a life sentence, man. I'm just trying to get home, man, and live a simple life, man. It's your love, man. The people make do out for me, pray for me, man. And not, not just me. Like I said, I'm here with my co-defendant, you had Jay from Jersey. Shout out to him and his family. He's back here with me and, and, and FBC on the pill. And my man, Tim Gotti, he, he on his way. So keep all of us in y'all do us, man. Pray for us, man. All right, for sure, man. All right, man, we signing out, man. Philly Fame TV, Ace Capone, man. It's exclusive, man. I appreciate this, man, for sure. I appreciate you, bro. You too, man. You did your own work, too, man. I hope you moving, man. I respect what you got going on, man. I'm going to stay in touch, man. You heard? For sure, man. All right, man. Peace, man. Keep your head up, big guy. All right, you too, man. All right, bro.